Goku's peepaw is so hot right now. What is up, Joe Crew? It is me, Joku DMD, and today I got a big re rectangular box from Japan. This is a thin box. This is Japan's thin box, and we got it from Japan. This is Collector's Selection Volume 2. It is the new LP by the Dragon Ball Super Card Game, and it looks like this inside. Bam! Wow, that was easy to open. I gotta get on a plane really soon, so I'm doing this as soon as quick as possible and efficiently as possible. If you guys wanna see DBS, One Piece, Demon Slayer, Shrippums on the reg, smash that sub button, and let's check out what's in this LP. LP. All right, these are the tracks. This is the lineup. This is what's in here, and this is Vegeta's track. These are Vegeta's tracks this time. I think Goku got the. I think Goku was on the LP last. Time. All right, so in here we're just gonna. Oh, I was easy to get those cards out. All right, so this is Violent Rays. Violent Rays. I am so hyped for this card because I'm definitely playing this in my U7 list and I need to grab four of these ASAP so I can play this in regionals on Sunday and then go hop on this plane. Uh, this card's really, really good. I love the art on this. It looks like Broly had to rip a huge one but it ended up coming out of his mouth and he's really, you know, pressing all of his muscles to get this to really forcefully blast out. But look at that texture foil. Dang, this looks so good. These cards look like SCRs, like every one. Oh, yo, come on. Yo, this is too good. What the heck? In heck this is gorgeous look at all that freaking texture what this is so dang shiny what in the what would you look at that that is so good that is so good oh man this is definitely the card i was the most excited for this is on like height of mastery spr level this looks really good you can see these like vibrations coming out from goku's fist he's about to bop 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 the man is going in he's got all this genki coming off of his arms yo i love this card this is re re really good oh here we got frieza a charismatic villain in his little ship. Hello, my little ship. I actually, I like the SPR art a lot, but you can't argue with this texture foil. And, and playing a set of these, it's basically you just get to play four SCRs in your deck. I like how he's looking down. You know, he's really looking down on these as well. If you're seven or less, you're dead. Nimbus Master Goku. I think this is a great reprint. This is a really useful okay. card. You know, you don't play that many in the deck and Goku just looks so happy here. Like he just fell off a cliff and bumped his head and isn't an evil boy anymore. And this texture just looks so good. The Nimbus looks awesome. He's got this great, I don't know if he's waving or he's gonna give a high five or if he's just saying, all right, see you later. I'm out of here. And here's Launch taking a nap in this beautiful flower garden Ooh. with a duffel bag. I wonder what's in there. Probably a gun and something. Trunks Heroic Prospect. Wow, we've never seen this card reprinted. Not. We've seen it reprinted a zillion times, but this one definitely looks the best. I, I do like the winter art, but anytime there's a collector selection, you just got to run it because they're just so much more supremely shiny than anything else. But yeah, the art on this is really cool. I think they did a great, great job. And here we go. Brainwash no more. Bardock saying like, you like what you see? You want to see what this does? See, they just made a silver line on his cheeks. That's it. You can just see his cheeks right there. He's saying, I'm about to I'm about to drop a stinky one if you try and double strike because I just need one energy. That's all it costs. That's all it costs, baby. Just one energy. And he's a free over on six. So good. I actually really, really like the original art. But again, collector selection. I mean, look at this. He's, he's on fire. This man is on fire. Goku's peepaw is so hot right now. Frieza, big head. Big head Frieza. Yes. So Frieza, robotic repose, gets a big head version. He's got a very big head. This angle looks great. This is definitely the repose to be playing for sure. Over the uh, Nats repose, even I would say. But yeah, gorgeous looking. Robotic Frieza, Mecha Frieza, and SS3 Gogeta smacking it. What is he smacking? You can tell this is clearly he's smacking something. He just made contact with his hand. And it's after the smack. I don't know exactly what it is. It's probably pretty far away by this point. But I don't know why they reprinted this card. Apparently people wanted it reprinted. But yeah, thwarting probably would have been a better pick. I guess they did thwarting elsewhere. I don't know. Even like the, the blocker the guy that warps would have been better. Yo, I like this. This is cool. I was really excited about this art when they revealed the art, but this looks really fantastic. I love what they're doing with the lines and the etching and the way the etching is broken up. It really feels like the Janemba movie or the Fusion movie when they're kind of like breaking through those weird like mirror area with all the sharp things that are stabbing into Vegeta and Goku's like, look fam, I got you. We're gonna get this weird demon kid that was rocking out too much. And yo, Nappa is blowing up the spot. He says, yo, get over in my spot. You know what this means? I wonder what's coming off of his hand. Is that blood? Oh God, is that just blood coming off of his hand because everything else is blue? Where were those fingers? What was he doing? Oh geez, I don't really trust Nappa at all, especially in this. Yikes. 
and yo this is gorgeous this is really good oh he's shooting gosh you up oh my eyes he's so good looking oh it's dangerous to look at how dang good looking this is what the heck yo the way they broke up the blue and the yellow and his hand is so bold zimasu on his way to steal your body hey i like that body i think i'll take it looks pretty good Blue and yellow are my favorite colors, and I love the super combo. I, I definitely am going to be using this one over the uh, SPR. The original SPR is really cool, but look at this. Look at this, like, texture foiling and that little spiral that's coming out from the from his hand, you know, ever so delicately, the delicate plan for destruction. And they even put texture in this man's coat. His fabric has texture. You can tell it's real fabric because it's textured with this silver foiling business. It's amazing. Weiss looking good. I wish this had the U7 tag. This would be kind of spicy in the red U7 list. And Android 18 Bionic Blitz. This is such an annoying super combo. And there's actually a way to recycle the super combo in Android 21. Gus with the spice. Shout out Gus. But look at that. Look at that. Look at that cool thing. What is that? What is that dimensional spiral over her shoulder? She knows what it is. You don't know what it is. She's protecting it. She's making sure that you can't get there because you're going to have to bottom deck a card when she combos. Oh, dangerous. Dangerously good. And searchable off the one drop. So nasty. So, so good. Beerus just blowing it up, taking a nap. Oh, I'm tired now. I just blew up this planet. I'm going to go have a nap. You got any ramen? It's actually a cannibal's favorite kind of food is ramen. Bro, where is he about to put that hand? I do not want to know. I'm not interested. It looks kind of like Nappa. Maybe like before Nappa's fingers ended up like this, they looked like this. But really beautiful card. I mean, look how much color there is. Just variation of different colors that are coming out of this dude. I, I don't like Dr. Jiro, particularly the character. I think his outfit is great. But to make him look this good on a card, that is a feat. And my hat is off to Bandai. And that's why I'm wearing a bandana for Bandai. Because my hat is off. Yo, Kefla looking at really good this is really 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 good Kefla finally getting the light that she deserves and this card is kind of great i mean it's really techy and spicy but another one that you could like maybe play one of and it would get in there and work but look at how rad this texture is it just looks so dang pretty and soul striker probably the worst card in this set i think like it was a great idea to reprint him don't think this art is all that much cooler than the original one i mean i guess i would play it because it's you know it is this collection but and it is really shiny and it looks like it has a little bit of texture also that's pretty cool but i don't know i think they could have picked a better pose for this guy you know he looks like he's walking away maybe it's because soul striker's on its way out the next set's coming up anyway guys that was the opening or you know display of the collector selection this is the new lp that bandai dropped you should listen to it and check it out it's got all these cool tracks and it comes with these cards inside i'm just kidding there's not actually any music in here for your ears it's just music for your eyes i'm a dentist and i gotta get on a plane to go to LA so I'm gonna make this a quick dental tooth tip my dental tooth tip is and I've said this one many times before don't bite into things that are harder than your teeth I know it sounds crazy why would you do that but you do it frequently your nails don't bite your nails don't bite ice don't chew on pistachios pistachios are evil pistachios break teeth left and right just take it easy on your teeth you know brush them floss them go to your dentist make sure they're doing okay if you have any questions about them drop them in the comment section I'll be happy to answer thank you so much I will see you guys in the next one All right, guys, uh, Dragon Ball Super Card Game has new recyclable TP packs that are designed so you can destroy your cards when you open them because there is a there's a shadow strip em nub. This is not a real strip em nub. If you use this strip em nub, you will destroy your card. These packs are actually amazingly easy to pull poutines out of if you open them this way. So you want to just very delicately open the back as you send your gradable card from a grade uh, 9.5 on BGS because the centering matches. Not gonna tend. This is fine. It's fine. You're not gonna destroy your winner card. You're only gonna bend it in half. And people can still you can still trade bent cards. They don't have a bending. They don't have a bending category. And that's it. And that's how you pull poutine. Magic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. <laughs> <laughs>